aside there, whether it be a favorite program of yours or a memory that you recorded with your own camcorder, the video cassette tape can be a part of everyone's collection of memories that you can view over and over again. Such repeated viewing can cause the tape to wear off its reels, rendering the tape useless. I'm here to tell you, don't despair. That problem can be repaired by following these simple steps. On the back of each tape, there are five screws. I mark each of them in white. I've already removed the screws to, for the purposes of time. But here's what you do when you're done removing the screws. You want to make sure you open it with the windows facing out at you because the important stuff is located at the bottom of the tape. There you have it. Inside there are two reels, the take reel and the supply reel. You want to grab the tape by the clear part on the take reel because there's no film on that part of the tape. You want to grab a piece of adhesive tape and line it up on the clear part. Now you want to cut it down so that it will actually fit on the reel. And when you do it, you want to make sure you do it flat so that the tape is smooth and even, like so. And you're going to take the tape, loop it through here, at the bottom here, and reel it all in. And after you're done with that, you're going to reattach the tape by linking it up through the tape holes here, like so. And continue to take the tape here so that it fits nice and snug, like it was normal tape. And you're going to put the top back on, turn it over carefully so nothing falls apart, and then screw it back together. And there you have it. The tape can be viewed again. A helpful hint will be to dub it the next time you view it. But nonetheless, you can view these memories again. Till next time, I'll be seeing you. Speak to me in a language I can hear.